Welcome to my channel. This is where you have lots of devotionals, Bible studies, and encouragement through your faith work. Now, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see you. Hello, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Ifoma Samuel, and I'm glad you're joining me here today. Today is our day 139, and we are looking at Luke chapter 11 and Luke chapter 12. In today's summary, our talking point will be centered around the deceit of greed. It's a popular reading but let, let's look at it again Luke chapter 12 verse 17 to 21 it says and he taught within himself now let me go back to 16 okay so that you will have a total grasp and he spake a parable unto them saying the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully that's good verse 17 and he taught within himself saying what should I do because I have no room where to bestow my fruit the next verse says, and he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. All right. Verse 19. And I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thy ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee the, um then who shall these okay who shall those things be which thou hast provided so is he that layeth the tre so, so is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich toward god now the, the, the thing about wealth and physical this physical um um should I say physical blessings that we have they can be awfully distracting they can actually be smoke screen and not let us enjoy the spiritual blessings and focus on the spiritual growth on spiritual growth so it's important reading that scripture i am reminded of another one okay we saw that in, in a few in a few uh, videos ago of uh, videos before luke chapter 9 verse 25 all right it says for what is a man advan advantage if he gain the whole world and lose himself and be cast away. This is something that is a, should be in the front of our hearts. In our desires, in our ambition, good, laudable, we're increasing in size, we're doing well physically. We must not neglect our spiritual growth. We must not neglect the fact that growing in faith is more important and more beneficial, okay, eternally beneficial, than acquiring all of these things. Now, what shall he profit a man if he gains the whole world and lose his soul? Absolutely nothing. Okay, so let's go to verse 24. For whosoever, um, okay, one minute. Um, yeah, so for whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but, whoso uh, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake shall save it. Again, a reminder for us to focus on that which is truly important. What is truly important? What then is truly important? Where is your heart? Where's the treasure of your heart? Where are you really focused on? All of these things that we see, first, I think over the years I've just come to realize there will always be a need. There will always be one thing or the other, one ambition, one thing to fulfill, one need here, physical need. But our spiritual time, our, the time that we spend doing quiet time, studying the word, cannot be compared with the distractions screaming in our face. So it's an encouragement for you, okay? If you are in that space where um, you're caught in that lie, believing that the, your world, your worth or your whole world is determined by how much that you have stacked or how much you have hoarded or how much or what our bank numbers are saying, if you're caught in a lie, today is a day for you to break free. And this is the truth of God's word. Your life is more than what the world says. Now, if you look at Luke chapter 12, verse 23, it says the life is more than meat and the body is more than raiment. So that is an encouragement for us. OK, let us break free from that exhausting rat race i call it exhausting because it's difficult for you to get out of it once you once you're sucked into that lie that you have to acquire more you have to do more you have to stack and stack and stack 
your worth is not tied to the physical okay to all of the bank numbers and all of the all of the items and all of the wealth and all of the hoarding and all of those things that we physically chase your worth is found in God's word your purpose and all of that is found in Christ all right so who you are it's not all of all this material things that are that are that you know that we put our minds to you know most people put their minds on. So this is an encouragement for us. I think about Job. Job had all of it. And like a twinkle of an eye, like in the snap of the finger, all of those things are all gone. They're all gone. So imagine if he had put all his trust in those things, he wouldn't have been able to trust God to give him back or restore. So good enough is an encouragement for us. These things are temporal. Okay? These things are temporal. What would they give us? They don't. Um, these do not guarantee that we have long. Um, we have life or health or peace, or joy. They are temporal satisfaction. They are temporal human satisfaction, attraction. That get at best, they'll give you a seat at the high table. They'll give you applauses. But when you're alone in your quiet time, going through your personal struggles, all of these things that we hold, all of the materialism cannot set us free it cannot be exchanged for our soul okay i love the fact that there was one uh, when we're going through this and my daughter asked me a question or or i asked her a question rather and i said what can you give actually in exchange for your soul what is worth your soul and she says okay maybe when you give all the souls i we're just having that conversation and then it, it, it sounded funny because we're just talking about it and then i asked another question Whose soul is worthy enough to redeem your soul? You know, if we look at it in depth, we all need Jesus. And it was and eventually, because during the conversation, we just pondered on it. And I said, Christ, that's why we need Jesus. That's what Jesus has come to do, to break us free from all of this entanglement, from all of this burden that we lay on ourselves. Lay on ourselves. Okay, so he has... Pay the price and ransomed our souls from the gates of hell. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. If you're not yet a subscriber, I encourage you to click the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments how this has been a blessing to you. And don't forget, you you, you can check us out online. Okay, we are there on um on Facebook as well as there on Instagram as purposeful and meaningful. Now do take care. See you in the next video.